Okay, let's do a follow up on our news. So we established this morning we had some big tradable gaps in the market with market profile. Uh, we established that we had some big gaps in the market. So it started here this morning pre-news. So pre-news we established at this level was our market profile level. This is our market profile level, low value area. If we get any type of zone break breaking through this big market profile level, we have a big tradable gap below us. This tradable gap was established last night. We knew this tradable gap. I put it up last night, 12 hours ago. Our target was 43 and a half. Just like yesterday, my 85 target, I put up 24 hours for you guys beforehand, and we talked about it on the microphone. That was our target for the day, and it hit also. These are magnets, our tradable gaps in the market for the S&P. So we had a big tradable gap this morning from 67 a quarter down to 43 and a half. We have another tradable gap that we're in right now, 43 and a half down to 29. So as we walk through this, when news is released, the market started pushing down hard right here on the S&P at 8.30. Started pushing down hard. On the microphone, what I told you guys is what we want to do is we want to see these zone breaks start forming. I specifically said the 110 needs to show a retracement, and we look for the first zone break that comes up on the 110. That's exactly what happened. We knew we had the big tradable gaps on market profile over here pre-news. We know that the 120 start pushing hard. At this level, the 120 start pushing hard right here. Start pushing hard. This is our 120 push over here at this level. Right there. Start pushing hard down. This what is what the 110 looked like. I said we need to get a retracement on the 110 since we're breaking into a big tradable gap. The tradable gap on market profile was 67 a quarter down to 43 and three quarters. So we knew that we had a tradable gap where this market has no support below us. So what we want to do is we want to try to find zone breaks like it happened here, here, and here down to our target. So as the market opened up with news, I was walking you through this with you guys. I said we need a retracement on the 110. This is the retracement we got. As it retraced, these dots start going horizontal. When these dots went horizontal, we talked about how we're going to look for a zone break. A zone break is a yellow candle that will form automatically on the system, and it formed right there at that level at 62 and a half as your trigger or your entry for the possible big short on the market. So we got into this tradable gap at 62 and a half right here at this level. The market was rolling down below low value area already. All right. Actually, low value shifted to there. Is below the low value area gap. Big gap in the market still. So as we start moving down, the market retraced again on the 110. Are we still, I, I told everybody on the microphone that we still have air in the market down to 43 and a half. This is when the market retraced again. It gave us another retracement. And then the horizontal dots start going sideways. We know this is where the zone break will form if it breaks two closes another entry occurred. The market still had air in it. Had air in it because we have, what, the tradable gap's not filled yet. So what happens? Up here at 48, I said the market still has air in it. We still have air because there's no support down the market profile. These market profiles are magnets. Sure enough, at this 48 level, it's talking in the room that we still have some room to the downside to the tradable gap we got some more zone breaks in a hard trending market if you look where this market started trending hard again 
was it 838.27. So 838.27, it got pegged. 838.27 is over here. It got pegged right there, being in a weak, weak market. That's how we use that oscillator. It was weak. It was pegged at 123.81 that I teach you guys, educate you guys. That's the weakest part of the market. Look for these 110 entries. And then if you were late in the tooth, you had an opportunity to fill that gap. 47 and a half, 45 and a half, 42 and a half, and the swing low so far we've got is 34 and a quarter. We're actually into another tradable gap here. We're into a tradable gap down to 29. There's no support on market profile. This will be the next magnet. As long as that swing holds below 50.44 this morning, we're looking for another move down. It's going to try to push price down into this tradable move. So what have we learned today? We've learned that these tradable gaps are where all the market participants are, where the major support and resistance is. We use two to four hour market profiles to find these big holes in the market. These are holes in the market where the market has no support. Support is not coming down to a Fibonacci level or a pivot level or some other level that is not market structure. Market structure is market profile because it's profiling all the participants in the market. So when this level broke at low value area, that's where all the participants were. So what you're going to have is a natural, all these stops are going to start hitting. Right here, these stops are going to start hitting, naturally driving the market to its magnet. What you're feeding on is all these counter trend traders or all these traders that are trading these levels, whether it be FIB levels, that's where profiles spit this level out for us because obviously there's a lot of interaction at that level, a lot of trades at that level, whether it be Fibonacci, pivot levels, R1, S1, all these second and third tier indicators. So we knew that once that level broke, according to market profile the last 39 years, it tells us it likes to go down to the next profile level on these two to four hour profiles. Not a 30 minute profile. 30 minute profiles are useless in my opinion. They don't work as well because they're not showing overall market structure. Market structure said we had a big gap in between here. We, we had the zone break knowing that's our magnet. Zone break knowing that's our magnet. Zone break knowing that's our magnet. If you want to take this next zone break at 35, What's your room on that trade? Your room is down to 29. So this is a follow-up video how you can trade gaps with zone breaks into news events or throughout the trading day. If you see strong moving markets like this, we had it yesterday again, the day before, day before that, you don't get a lot of these match up. This is the 12020 chart. If you see this 120 chart, trending hard, you can fire off these 110 entries like this. These 110 entries will give you a smaller stop to reach your target. 